initial idea started some two years ago where Chris Kemp said he wanted a way of measuring what the pressure was of people in the crowds. I was trying to rack my brains to find an idea how we could measure pressure in the crowd and came up with the idea of a vest that could then measure the individual and the forces on that individual uh, when they were under pressure in a crowd. There are models, there are mathematical models that predict the behaviour of crowds but they, they've never been validated as such. They're equated with crowd behaviour as seen from video footage but the video footage doesn't actually uh, measure, uh, effectively measure the pressure in the crowd and the forces involved. We looked at lots of things to decide where the main pressure was, was on the main torso of the body. So we needed something that would measure the pressure, both front and back, but was dynamic enough to actually show how the system worked within the uh, environment in which it was going to be placed. But um, to measure the pressure between two soft bodies, which is people, appeared quite difficult. First one, we basically used bicycle tubes, various sizes, a couple of plates on either side of the tube, they were pressurised and then they caused a pressure variation on sensors that we built into the tubes themselves. It partially worked, uh, which surprised us because it sprung leaks, it was quite obtrusive. Um, you could see this person standing in the crowd looking like a, uh, a knight in armour. The pressure, pressure measurements we got from it were successful. They were interesting insofar as giving us both pressure and temperature readings and a couple of things came out of that. The temperature variation was very significant because we found that the ambient temperature in the air around about 20 degrees was significantly higher in the crowd which was over 30 degrees. So this over 10 degree difference just from people being in close proximity to each other. We then developed a second suit um, because the first prototype was literally just to see if we could get anything out of it, whether the system would work. We developed um, a system that was optimised for measuring the pressure between people. But when we took it to Ross Kilda, we were uh, thinking there was a 50% chance of it actually um, doing what we wanted it to do to collect the data. I would have been happy if one of the concert sessions had worked, but as it was, every concert session worked. Funnily enough, Jeff said to me afterwards, he said, we weren't sure it was going to work and we're over the moon with the results because it's worked every time. So there's always that. You go out there, you spend all of that money, somebody's subsidising you or funding you, and then you waste it because it doesn't work. Well, in this case, it wasn't wasted because everything worked. We had four different suits in the crowd at different positions in the crowd. One close up on the barrier, one a bit about three uh, feet back from the barrier. Um, and the same on, in both of the pens that they hold clouds, cr crowds close to the band in. The data we got was correlated with the data on the uh, barriers where you've got pressure sensors on the Mojo barriers. So we correlated the data between the two. And we could see it on the video as well. The videos were, were most informative because you could see shock waves in the crowd. And the video timing and the vest timing coincided, we could see the shock wave, we could see the force on the people, one person, the next person, then the barrier, then it reflected back into the crowd. And that's where we found the greatest forces. It's pointless as testing it where there's no pressure. Um, but that of course brings other dangers as well, because we have uh, students who wear the, the suit, um, we have insurance capabilities here as well, so we have to make sure that the risk assessments and all of those kind of activities are continually fluid. At Ross Kielder, it's very easy because they clear the pits before every band comes on. We march the students into the pit and put them in specific places and these places must be the same or similar every time so that we have the same data from the same areas. So they stand in that area, the pit fills up, we identify that they are there and they have one uh, spotter at the front watching them continually through there we also have two um, stewards who are looking at them as well and we've got the CCTV footage as well and they're being watched from the CCTV cameras to ensure that if anything does go wrong they're spotted from that as well and then a message can go down from the CCTV people to the stewards to say there is a problem. So we've got three ways of ensuring that they're safe. Well there's a number of uh, uh, improvements that can be made to the vest. The vest can be made um, much uh, less intrusive 
it can be um, uh, the, the sensors and the pneumatic system can be much smaller. I would like to see it being figure hugging so that people couldn't see the vest underneath the t-shirts that the people who wear the vest in the crowd have on. I think at the moment it's very bulky. It doesn't really detract from it because the way the audience reacts is very different and they soon forget that the vest's in there even if they can see it. Um, but what I'd like to have it is a sort of wetsuit look or neoprene look that when you actually press on it, it gives that pressure reading. The current system we have has validated the measurement system. What we have shown technically is we, we can remotely and in real time measure the pressure within the crowd using a pneumatic system. Once it's up to full potential, I think there's no point in festivals actually using it as an entity. What I would expect to happen is that we'll be able to record all different types of crowd behaviour, model that crowd behaviour so in future we can actually show crowd managers, we can show promoters what happens when this type of behaviour occurs and where the danger points are. So that what will happen in their education is they'll be able to understand where they need to send people in when they don't, what's dangerous and what isn't, uh, so it'll improve the possibilities of people being safe in crowds.